Welcome to RPA Hub. In this video, we will discuss about an open source tool that is Tag UI. Tag UI is basically a very important tool built for robotics process automation tool. This is an open source tool where people can make the changes and use it for their long term goal. This is an automation build as well as process automation tool. So we'll discuss here very important factor how this is evolved and what is the structure so what you will get it from this video we'll discuss here what is tag ui the key features how it works use cases at the end i will give you three important points which will gives the detail insight about the tag ui if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates Tag UI is nothing but a process automation tool which helps to make or repeat tasks an easier way. Tag UI helps us rapidly automate our repetitive or time critical tasks. These use cases include process automation, data equations, and testing of web pages. So let's say if we are extracting some data from the web based application and we have to do it manually, that we can do it by using tag UI. The goal of user interface automation is to reproduce cognitive interactions that we have with websites or on our desktop. Tag UI is an open source and suitable to all platform command line RPA tools that provides you the capabilities to automate our desktop, web, mouse and keyboard actions. Tag UI is now maintained by AI Singapore that is AI Singapore.arg a national institute to build local artificial intelligence capabilities and launch in EO 2017. Since their launch, they have enhanced their product and get it available for the user a new and very specific or very advanced open source tool. So the key feature components will include web automation where you can do all of your web automation activity. For this, you need to install Chrome extensions for recording web actions or an invisible browser where th that is headerless. Web automation is basically help you to perform aut all your automation per activities which is required for the web. Like if you want to automate your ordering systems from Amazon or Flipkart or several other website which is e-commerce website where you want to add the orders. These all activities basically you can automate it. You can consider the use cases of the web of automations like uh, any product ordering from the social media or product ordering from the, any e-commerce website. Visual automation is basically this is a desktop and web based website automation where you can automate all of your desktop as well as website application. Third point is natural language like syntax. Write your script in a natural language like syntax. No coding language required. No coding knowledge of any programming language is required. Here, this is a very important part. This is huge for the natural language, makes it easy to develop and deploy for your use. The user who don't know about the pro any programming language can also use this type of application. So basically, this is more suitable in terms of business people or the senior people. Then Fifth point is R and Python integration is also available where you can R and Python language integrations for AI and machine learning. You can use it. This is cross platform tool which is available in Windows, Mac OS and Linux. This is very easy to install. Simple unzip the source file without explicit installation required. Now, when we talk about the use cases, use cases are several use cases are available. If you want to extract any data from the PDF file or several other file, which is structure as well as non-structure data, where we can use the OCR activity that is optical character recognition, where we can use it in terms of extracting the data from different aspects. 
We can also use only different uh, rule like images or extracting data from the images or PDF or several other components. Second use case is web automation. When we talk about the web automation, you can use any of the web automation tools like if you want to order your product from any e-commerce site or if you want to do the registration from any website or if you want to register for any Gmail account that also you can automate it. That will comes under web automation. Desktop automation is basically you can automate our desktop application. Like if you want to perform any action on the notepad, rather than going to the notepad and doing this activity manually, you can do the desktop automation feature. So these three use cases I've covered here, but there are lots of use cases you can use it. When we talk about how it works or how the coding language of tag UI will work, the tag UI automation software uses human language like command line syntax to create your workflow so you can automate with language like this so if you can see here if i want to perform gets text from the clipboard then i need to double click uh, on any pdf document or any uh, png document i have to wait might be some system is taking some time so because of that it's provided here wait for three seconds it's totally up to you if your system is immediately responding better you don't need or don't add wait command and directly jump to the your next command that is keyboard control a keyboard control c then text contains clipboard so this you can see here this is very simple enough where you can perform all your automation activity of gets text from the clipboard so when we consider the second example, you can see if you want to do the login of any website or any desktop based application. So you can write the command like click login. It means we are performing these actions in plain English or simple English. It's very easy to understand. So anyone who is using first time, they will also understand the tag UI feature or the coding of tag UI. Then next command is type username as a username field so this is the value and here you are defining the username components second is type password as your password and then click button login so if you have any button login you can add it if you have any registered item you can simply click on register button something like that so this is very simple you can do your tag ui automation activity now the very important part first takeaway about this contain is interesting tool to learn for those who is not from the coding background so if you will not understand your coding uh, or if you don't have any previous experience of working in the coding or programming language then best this is best suitable for you as well second takeaway is good features like ocr web automation desktop automation and recording components are available here this tool is launched just like three or four years before then also they have upgraded their product so that other enterprises can use it on their real life. Third takeaway, having advanced feature with easy to install on Windows and Mac. And this is well compatible in Linux as well. So it's very secure, I can say, when we are using in Linux. So that's all about introduction of Tag UI. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider sharing within the circle. Thank you for watching.